Hey guys, Delphian here. Um, wanted to go ahead and try this new game for you. This is actually a free game on Steam. And I do recommend that you pick it up. Um, even if you've already seen somebody play it, or if you're watching me play it, it's it's still fun to, to go through on your own. Uh, I have been through it already, but I want to go ahead and play it for you guys. And I'm going to try to do as much as possible try to find every little thing, every little nook and cranny and get in there. Um, and I'm just going to have fun with it. Um, this is Dr. Langskov, the Tiger, and the Terribly Cursed Emerald, a whirlwind heist. So I'm just going to go ahead and jump right into this, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's get started. Always a good hint. Remember that one, guys. It's very important. And 37 Three beginning in three, spoons. two, one. Let's go. Sorry, going very slow here for you guys to kind of take a look at everything. That is Tiger. Check, check, hello? It's on? Hello? Okay. Uh, so, uh, a deer come to me right now about a parrots. A parrots, uh, they are very interesting birds, very colorful birds. They talk, they repeat what they hear. A parrot repeat what he hears. It's a very interesting idea. I take this concept for game. I make a parrot character. He is, repeats what he hears from the player. So the player say something, the parrot repeat. I it's a great idea for a game. I'm going to go pitch it to Michael. Right now, I'll be right back to tell the result from my pitch to Michael. I think it's a very good idea. And Michael said he don't like my idea. <laughs> he said he don't like a parrot idea. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. He don't like it. <sighs> It is my strongest idea. <laughs> Give me a gun. <laughs> Ow. Son of a bitch. He had taken my heart. He had Michael had taken my heart. Aww. You're so sad. He got, he got all sad. I ate a pretzel that was behind the vending machine. I can't, <laughs> I can't drop the, uh, the tape recorder, so... Oops. I made a little mess, but that's okay. Letter of res resignation. Management, I didn't quit when the flood happened. I didn't quit when you reassigned me to a spectacularly dangerous department with no training. I didn't quit when the forklift broke and dropped a set piece on my ankle. But looking at all those things written down, I'm beginning to realize that I probably should have. 
I'm generally, I'm not generally in favor of industrial action, but thinking about it, when the brand new health and safety department literally catches fire within days of being established, perhaps, just perhaps, something like this is necessary. Santiago Morris. Sorry, I can't drop this thing. We are not being paid half enough. Ignore this. Okay. Alright. So now we're gonna go here. One second, please. Hold hold your first position. There's somebody at the door. I, yeah, I know. Okay, one second. Can we get a precise location on the trail, please? There's two of them. Right. Okay. Hi. So this is this is so this is a bit um this is a bit awkward. I think it's probably best if we're just really honest with each other. It's, uh, it, yeah, it's, it's, it's a bit awkward. Um, the thing is, the game you've just downloaded, somebody is playing it right now, so you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't play it. I'm, I'm really sorry. Yeah, this is, uh, yeah, this is quite inconvenient. I don't know, I don't know why this keeps happening. Sorry, we're generally quite organised. You should come inside, I'll explain. Uh, just through here. Here's the thing: the game's live, which makes it impossible to to insert you, and also it's it's it's, it's just quite difficult now for you to leave. But I think it's okay. I I I, I know I, I know what to do. I'm gonna try I'm gonna try and call publicity and liaisons, and we should be able to take you to the green room. All right? If you just wait here, uh, and th yeah, we'll be able to get you in. All right. Let me just let me just find the number here. Okay. It's ringing. Uh. Somebody will pick up. We're okay. We're okay. Oh, they hung up. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm going to try that again. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Uh, Is he experiencing okay. any issues in no. vehicular no. combat? If so, I'm sorry. I, I know. I know. We've both got better things to be doing with our lives. Oh, come on. Come on. Okay. Oh, I know what's going on. We've got um, something of a strike sort of situation emerging. Yeah, we've b we've become quite understaffed. Actually. All right. You wouldn't. Um, no All right. No state no your no name. My name is my name is Terry. All right, Terry. So you're playing the role of a giant cucumber. You're being chased by lawn garden people. So go ahead, let me hear what you got. Okay, here we go. <laughs> hey, I'm a giant cucumber, check me out. I'm a giant cucumber. Alright, that's pretty good. Can you do that? Can you be a little more, a little scareder? A little scareder, please. Eating all the pretzels. Okay. Oh man, I'm a giant cucumber, I'm so scared. Oh jeez, check me out, I'm a giant cucumber. All right, that's pretty good. Next. All right. Um, you're playing the part of, you're recording for the part of uh, a giant garden person who's chasing a huge cucumber. State your name and go ahead and give me a, go ahead and give me a, an audition. Uh, my name's, my name's Willie, and here we go. I'm a, I'm a giant garden person. I'm chasing a cucumber. Come in, come on back and get me. Come on and get you. Here I'm coming to get you. I'm a giant lawn <laughs> or garden character. My name's, Wi my name's Willie. All right, that's pretty good. Not bad. We'll we'll let we'll we'll uh we'll we'll let you know. Next. All right. Um, Sorry, guys. I just wanted to be able to hear all this before we. Oh, actually my name is Little Tommy. Whoa. All little right, Little Tommy. Tommy. You're gonna be auditioning for the part of the giant planet. So you're gonna be a whole planet. 
that's in outer space and you're going to just be getting chased by a bunch of pickles, cucumbers, all kinds of stuff like that that are real big. So go ahead. Let's hear it. Okay. Um. Oh no, I'm a giant planet. Oh jeez. Check me out. Look at me. I'm a whole planet. I'm getting chased by a bunch of cucumbers and pickles and all that stuff. Oh no, my name's Little Tommy. I hope I, I hope I, I hope I get this part. Really hoping I could get. I g <laughs> really need this money. Whoa, that was an incredible audition, little guy. All right, well we'll be in touch. Jenny, you got all this recorded. All right, put this in Michael's office. This is one of Perret Per. Per Perrier's game. Yeah, Pierre. I'm getting sick of this shit. Okay. Sorry about the length of that, guys, but, uh, yeah. It all needed to be heard. Eat all them pretzels. Alright, here we go. The thing is, our entire weather department and half the wildlife crew is just up to left before we could even begin this morning. And it's all super simple. It's mostly buttons. You like buttons, right? And you'll be able to play the game as soon as whoever's in there at the moment is finished. Promise. Your help? Oh, this is fantastic. Okay, this way. Yeah, the lighting department's right through here. Hmm. Yeah. Could we... Could we maybe move it along just a little? The play's been in the loading screen for the last minute and a half, and we really should bring Another up the table. lights. Spoiling some of the magic, you know, it feels a bit like cheating. Ah, <laughs> uh, the scary pencils. The scary pencils are coming to attack me. The scary pencils are coming to attack me. What do I do? Well, I, d I tell you one thing. You've got to run as fast as you can of the hills. Uh, you got to take off of your clothes. Uh, you got to run in the hills. Uh, the scary <laughs> pencils are coming to attack. That's the scene of this first act of the game. That's the scene of the first act of the game. Why won't anyone take my idea? Is it just a trying to make a game over here? Oh, oh. Uh, rejection is uh, so hard to take. It uh, hurts me. Oh, the pencils, they attack. You are running for the hills. You take off all of your clothes. It's such an easy concept. It's such an easy game concept. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. They think they know all the best ideas for the game. I know the good ideas for the game. I want to have a, a pencil attack. You write with the pencils. But they now attack you. You run for the hills. You head up for the hills. Okay, again, sorry guys, but those are just funny. And you can, of course, go through the game without getting those, so you don't have to actually go through all that. Alright, let's move on. Right, first things first, there. could you bring up the light? Thank you so much. Because, you know, we can't have people playing in the dark. Put it all over. There it goes. Little lights blinking on in the windows of the mansion, up past the ornamental ponds. It's pretty magical, really. Okay, now we need to attack them with a- Ugh, you don't even know what secondary interruptive means, do you? I mean, neither do I, but you're the one who pressed it. <laughs> Look, um, poor switch choices aside, we really need to keep going now. There's a sort of a- There's some unique time pressure in the next room. Okay, well we have another tape, so let's bring it to the tape. To my heart, there's nobody uh, believe of me about am I serious? I'm a serious. Hmm. I'm a serious. M gonna make of this game pencils. Oh, the scariest vessel of terror in the world is a pencil. The pencils tax. You run up for the hell. <laughs> Why do they do it to me? <laughs> Why did they do this to me? It's a good idea. 
It's a good idea. Oh, it's going to be a lost in the voids of the universe. Uh, mm, oh, so upset. I hit the table. Ow. Oh, oh, oh. Ow, I broke my pinky. Oh, oh, oh. Ow. Oh, oh, the creative process. Oh, 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 the creative process. You know, it tearing me apart. It tearing me apart. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh. It's a, it's a week of twenty-five. Ah, <laughs> uh, the, uh, the pencils. They are a uh, terrorist. They attack. You have to run for the hills. You take off all of your clothes. Each clothing item, it represent one point of power. You must lose your power points, or the pencils will attack. Head up for the hills! Oh, so excited! <laughs> yeah, some of the stuff I didn't do in my first playthrough. Could you um maybe not do that, please? So some of the stuff is new to me. <laughs> like I, I didn't listen to the tapes last time. But right, this is all. These need it's to so be safe. We'd usually have someone else do this, but they started striking right after one of them. Well, that's not. That I shouldn't have <laughs> so just, tigers, just pull the lever the unless they. Introduce the tiger to the level. <laughs> you should pull the tiger lever. Really? Look, look, trust me on this one. Tigers, it turns out, just aren't. They're not. They're not in love with the idea of uh, boxing. Perfect. That worked perfectly. Uh, there should be a red button nearby. It will just let the recovery crew so that the tiger's ready to pick up. It's the button. I think it's uh, okay. Pr press it again. And um, could you press? Oh, thank goodness. The recovery crew are on the move. I wonder if they might have joined the picket or gone to the union or been eaten by oh, a tiger. Oh, another know. day. Okay, I'm t I'm trying to work out where you're going to be most useful. I don't think we have anybody left in catwalk, do we? Oh, we do. Oh, great. Wow. Can't believe it. I guess weather control then. All right, another tape, guys. The door's just over there. Doing your oh, thing, so more great. pencils. There's not really, there's really not far to go. Do you see? My ideas are not a good. <laughs> your pencils attack. You will hide for the hills. <laughs> what is so hard to get? What is so hard to understand? <laughs> the pencils attack. You run for the hills. You take off all the clothes. You hide in the bush. It is such a simple game. The game design is so simple. It's so, it's so angry. It makes me anger! Okay. Oh, I hate this room. It hasn't been easy, you know. During a second performance, a pipe burst in here and flooded the whole garden level. The player got stuck on the, uh, on the roof of the summer house. All right, okay, the script calls for a storm. Let's make it rain. It's the red valve on the pipe next to the door. Gently. A lot of the story relies on there being a storm. It's, 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 a, it's a big part of Act 3. Listen, really, it's okay. Don't worry about what I told you about the storm. We've had 235 oh, non-fatal performances yeah, since then. I see a pretzel. There's a pretzel. I see it. All right, let me be totally honest. In two performances, we had mostly underwater surprise moments, but we give everyone our bands now. All right. No, 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 too much. Okay, we're good. Uh, there's a button below the fan that sorts out the thunder and lightning. Oh, it might be wired up wrong. I'm sorry, that room gets cut down. Now I think about it, it might have been safe. Oh no, there it is, there it goes. You've got a picture of the building lit up by these big flashes of lightning. It's really imposing. The set's massive. Oh, speaking of, 
The player has apparently entered the mansion through the orangery and is. They're going to use the lift. Okay, that's okay, we can do this. We're right here. This way. Actually, wait, hang on a second, this is really important. Behind this door is the closest the player ever passes backstage. They'll be right behind a wall, and I, I don't know what the wall's made of, but I do know that it's phenomenally cheap. So, it's going to have to be very quiet, okay? The thing is, you, you can actually finish this game in like 15 to 20 minutes. It's very, very quick. We're going over the time just because we're stopping to listen to the tapes and everything. Um, just down the steps. Yeah, that's good. That's the mansion in there. The player would have got here a little earlier, but they're, um, they're limping a bit. I'm not a button scientist, but I have a feeling that the secondary interrupted button you pressed might have, might have closed the door out of the summer house on their foot. In any case, <laughs> here's what we need to do. The player's going to come down the corridor and call the lift. And once the doors open and they get inside, they're going to press the down button. When that happens, all you have to do is pull the lever on this side. This lift was always supposed to power itself. Just a hangover from rehearsals that nobody got round to replacing. Besides, it's fine, it's fine. We've got plenty of time. And actually, no, wait, here he comes, here he comes. Shh, out, ice front, ice front, ice front. Wait for it. Ready? Okay, and there's another tape, so we'll be listening to that in a moment. What are they doing? Why haven't they, why haven't they pressed the button? Do they hear us? Don't move. Oh, thank God, I'm moving. <laughs> oh, no idea what happened there. I think, I think, I think they, they can't have heard something. I hope they didn't hear it. Oh, no. They probably didn't. At least they're on their way now. Actually, they're going to be very busy with the vault. You could start playing in the grounds. We just need to prep some pyrotechnics for the escape sequence, and then you're good to go. There's a oh, lift to the pyro the workshop up the stairs. All right, let's listen to that. We could just uh, hurry along. Hey, it's me, little Timmy. I got the part. I'm hiding pretzels all around the office. I'm gonna put pretzels in all the nooks and crannies of this place. Just kidding. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> I don't wanna lose my job. <laughs> I'm Mike, I'm, I'm little Tommy. Um, I got the part of the planet, and I'm gonna be a planet. Hopefully the funding comes through. The financing for the game. They said they can't finance it, but they're gonna try anyways. I'm little Tommy, and I'm the role of the planet. Check me out, I'm gonna be a planet in the game. Oh, Daisy, I'm gonna place pretzels all over this building. Forget about it. Just kidding, I'm not doing that. I don't wanna lose my work. <laughs> what do you think, I'm crazy? I wouldn't put pretzels anywhere. That's a surefire way to get fired from your voice job as a pre as a planet. I'm a big old planet. I hear there's a I hear there's a, 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 a company party tomorrow night. I'm little Tommy. I'm gonna be there. You can bet your bottom dollar on that. I'm gonna go there and I'm gonna really shake it up. I'm gonna shake this place up once and for all by putting pretzels all over the every nook and cranny of that building. <laughs> Just kidding, I, who do you think I am, a, a lunatic? I wouldn't do that. What kind of crazy person wants to get fired that bad? <laughs> I'm little Tommy. Look at me. I'm gonna, I'm a, I, I don't know why they, they don't hurry up with the financing. Still waiting to record. Who boy. Who baby? You gotta get a get a get a get a buckle on it. Get a buckle on it. That's my quote. That's what I tell everybody I know. Get a buckle on it. Get out of here. You know what I mean? Anyways, I don't know why I keep talking into this recording recorder. It's not like I got better stuff to do. I mean, it's not like I don't have better things to be doing. I got all kinds of stuff I gotta do, such as hide pretzels all around the building. You know what I mean? I'm gonna stuff them in every nook and cranny. <laughs> Just kidding. What kind of crazy idea came up with that idea? You know what I mean? All right. Well, so sober and out, little Timmy. Over and out. Okay, I'm gonna have to come through and play again. Get that pretzel. I'll make sure I get all the pretzels. Too slow. Oh, I, oh my God. Oh, I 
Are you okay? Do you, do, you, do you still have your ankles? <laughs> are, they, are they in the correct uh, orientation? Okay, you're okay? You do? That's great. I'm so, I'm, oh God, I'm so sorry about that. I really, this is, well, this is the weather room, isn't it? It's uh, the weather Right. Okay, listen. Since we can't reach the lift of Pyro, the only way back into the game is through, is through a department called High Concept Miscellaneous Interactions. Oh, I don't want to have to do this to you. There's usually a lot of training involved. But I'll talk you through it. You'll be fine. We'll be fine. <laughs> you brace yourself. All right, bracing ourselves. It's going to be okay. Really, welcome to Miscellaneous Interactions. This is the department that controls... Well, it controls a lot of things. Locks and unlocked doors, interior lights, smoke machines, telephone calls, actor cues, laser lights, vault guards, tranquilizer dart strength, you know, that kind of thing. But it's all just done with numbers. I, I don't know why. And, uh, and usually the operators have got this big, um, you know, usually they know what they're doing. But I've got a manual here. I think we'll get through it. You're going to want to press the number four. Just go right ahead, the number four. Um, don't worry about that. Don't worry. That's fine. That, I think that's normal. Uh, yeah. I, uh, yeah. I don't think that light's a, a bad sign. Uh, five, seven, two, one, two, one. Ah! Okay, so what we did there, it turns out, was the wrong thing. <laughs> could you um could you press nine and then four and then and then one? Did we? Oh, I think we restarted it. It's all right. There's a page in the manual about this. Oh, I think you should probably get that. Listen, I know it's tempting to ignore problems that you've caused, but this is this is really what 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 did you just? <laughs> that could have been very important. What did you? Why did you? Ah, I, it's all right. Okay, I found the right instructions. All right, I need you to press the number nine. All right. Let's. Okay, well let's let's just assume that we've got nine sorted, right? Okay, five, two, one, four, four. Wait, no, hit start to cancel that, and then a two, a six. Just ignore that. That's fine. Right. Seven, two, left. One, four, two. Oh, Christ! Please pick up the phone! Please! And talk to them this time! Oh, come on! Again? Is, is there... Do you just not know how to use the phone? All right, back to the board. Hit these four numbers. Two, five, nine... Oh, I guess we don't need to bother with nine. Oh. That sound that I might have told you to ignore, it turns out that... It, it, that's a very bad alarm. So I'm going to need you to just do a 180... Right down the stairs, please. Right down. Probably, I'd probably go a bit further. Move. Here's, here's good. Here's good. Great. Oh, that wasn't too bad. Okay, back, back. Come on, back up the stairs. A bit faster than that, please. Just a bit, you know, just a bit. All right, oh, don't worry. Don't worry. Can. Actually, do worry a bit. Hit seven, four, then asterisk. Is there a fire below us? Is there, some, is there something on fire? Oh, there is, isn't there? I don't think. Really, I don't think any of this room is supposed to be on fire. Please don't do what I think you're about to do. <laughs> Please don't do it. Pick up the phone and put it to your ear. Like a normal person. Like a normal person who can answer a phone. And you'll, you'll be able to talk to somebody on the other end. It's really, it's really easy, very easy. No! <laughs> 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 Why did you do it anyway? <laughs> Why? Wait, hang on. We can, we can still talks. fix this. We yeah. can. I, I need you to find a blue panel marked downpour. Downpour. Right there. It turned off, right? I found a way to activate a failsafe lever to the left of the key. Oh no, wait. On the right of the keypad. Right, not left. Don't do the left. Uh, okay, when the... It's down right four here. panel lights up, I'm going to need you to pull it when it lights up. Not before. Any moment now. Um. Now? Did we 
we did we do it? Yay, the fire is it. gone. The players left the mansion. I think I think we did it. I don't think it's supposed to still be raining, but you know. Hey, come back down the stairs. You're, you're done here. You don't need to spend any more time in this room. You can forget about the whole thing. Or you, you, you can try to forget about it. Whatever. This is it. You're done, sister. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You really helped out. We couldn't have made it through without you. We really couldn't have. Through here. Yay, we were useful. Here we are again. So, this is how it's going to work. You go in there. Just give me a moment. I will bring the lights up. And Dr. Langstock, the tiger, and the terribly cursed emerald. Enjoy it. Oh, don't tell me you're getting cold feet now. Anything, trust me, anything on the other side of that door is peanuts compared to what we've just gone through. Yeah. It's great though, it's, uh, it's really good. Particularly the voice work. Some of the voice work is outstanding. The voice work is outstanding. Right. It's really good. I can see Bafta sniffing all over this. <laughs> Here we go. Thank you so much. Another player? You've got to be kidding me. You, I can't, I can't do this again. Okay, this is really awkward. The fact of the matter is... Wait, hang on, where are you going? Right, so, look, I need to talk to you. Okay, that's the lighting room. We need to talk... Okay, fine, this is wildlife trap. No, hang on, this is... That, that's a... Hang on, there's a tiger in there. There's a tiger in there. That's... Uh, no, don't, don't pull that! Wait, no! Oh! Oh, God. on your own wrestling around with it seeing what you can do um, again it's free on steam so go for it uh, all right everybody have fun i will see you next time